Hey everybody, what's up? Chili Dude 27 here, bringing you part 24 of part 23. Sorry, of Ratchet and Clank. In the last episode, we got the info bot for the Jamlik Moon Base, and in this episode, we will be going there after watching this nifty little one-minute cutscene. Okay, Drek, let's be honest here. You're putting your trust into a guy who wears nothing but green spandex with a radio antenna on the top. Can you really blame him for being stupid? Really? And, better yet, you gave him this tiny little spaceship. <laughs> oh wow, the bad guy actually stabs the other bad guys in the back. Holy crap, I never would have seen this coming. But whatever. Now arriving at the Gemlik moon base. Not exactly the best moon base, I honestly think the Blarg station was a little bit better. But, uh, I do like this level. I do like this level a lot. Mostly because there's not a lot of tracking to do stuff here. I did not see just the blah. We all know that I can't do a clank impression, so I might as well not even try. You know. Because I just suck like that. Okay, well. Ooh, boxes, boxes, yay. Boxes, 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 boxes. Okay, now that I have f fed my crazy OCD obsession, alright, you want to make sure that you glide over here. Do not jump. Do not assume that there is something underneath you because there isn't. Now, yeah, those pulsing towers control the fourth field. <laughs> okay, now I believe it's possible to take these towers down with a blaster, or at least this first one here, but uh, you want to go about, you know, getting the Devastator or the. Uh, Visibomb gun. The Visibomb gun is basically just like the Devastator, only it puts you in a first person view and you can actually guide the missile using the left analog stick. Pretty cool weapon, but uh, I don't find it to be worth the 10,000 bolts you paid for it. Nah. I mean, because, okay, without the uh, Persuader, it would be, I think, 11,000 bolts. But luckily, the Persuader gives you a little bit of a discount. It's it's worth getting, you know, the Persuader is worth getting. And so is the Visibomb, I guess, if you're into that, but if you can't find a useful way to use it, I wouldn't suggest it. I do use a Visibomb, though, in the very last level of the game. Quite a bit. Quite a bit. Okay. Now, this whole episode, this whole uh, level is littered with Blarg. Well, rightfully so. I mean, it is a Blarg moon base, so it makes sense. Okay, this tower here. You do not need the Vis Bomb for this. You can just use the Devastator, just back up, go into first person, and shoot it. And there you go. Mass destruction! Okay, now these guys, they are turret Blarg. Now, I really love the way these guys act. If they see you in their sights, they will try to shoot you, like so. However, go right behind them, right up next to them. Hey. Hey, buddy, what's up? Oh, just looking for a Lombax. Oh, you mean, uh, this Lombax? Oh, I'm gonna shoot you! Ah! Yeah. <laughs> they're real. They're that stupid. Drek is entrusting his plans to people who a don't shoot on sight as they're told to, b wear green no nothing but green spandex, and c are like dropped on their heads as kids or I don't know something. All right, this next part, you want to book it over here and jump up these giant steps because, hey, there's no regular size steps in the future. We've gotten rid of those. Now we have big giant steps that you need to climb up. So, yeah, just like the other guy, you want to make sure just jump behind him and hit him like that. No threat whatsoever. Also, this whole level is littered with trespasser puzzles. I really, that's one of the reasons why this level isn't my favorite. Sure, these trespasser puzzles are actually pretty darn easy. But, uh, nah, it's, it's just not my favorite, you know? I just doesn't like it. Whoa, no. Eh. I mean, these trespasser puzzles are really more of an annoyance, but, uh, whatever. You knows? Okay, there's this one guy here. Oh, whoa, epicness. And, skadoosh. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, there's also these two numb nuts down here. You can actually just throw bombs at them, and they won't be able to do anything except stare at you. Uh, kind of reminds me of that thing in uh, Spider-Man 3 with Bruce Campbell. Look, up in the sky, it's a foot headed straight towards my face. My, me and my friend Sean used to make fun of that for the longest time. That was like the funniest thing ever to us. Actually, I think it's still the funniest thing ever to him. I don't know. Okay, um... <coughs> Oh yeah, I haven't quite explained this yet. These green thingamajigs, they're full of toxic waste because, you know, toxic waste is good to have around, I guess. You want... They're useful for taking out enemies for the most part, but you want to make sure you detonate them by throwing your wrench, not, like, you know, hitting it. Okay, um, let's see. This part, you can, like I said, just back up far enough and you can use the Devastator. No, there's a bomb needed. The ships. You need two hits to take these things out, not just one. I made that mistake a long time ago. I thought, hey, you know what, it exploded, I'm good. And then I went in there, I got my butt shot, and I died, and I had to restart, and I was like, Grrr! But yeah. You know, how exactly did Chairman Drek get this much money in his hands? Like... Okay, even if you you can find free money lying around outside, but imagine how much it must have cost to build a moon base, assemble an army, re fund the technology needed to, uh, to uh, steal pieces of planets. Hang on a sec. Fund the technology needed to steal pieces of planets, and pay off said army, as well as get all the various technology and weaponry for said army, and the giant attack suit that he uses against you at the end. This guy has more money than... <sighs> I would say he has more money than God, but you know what? I'm not gonna because that might be offensive to some people. I don't know. Let's just say this guy could buy the freaking world, sell it, and then buy the rest of the world. Buy the rest of the universe, I mean. Whenever I try to make a joke, it just doesn't work out, and now that makes me sad, and I'm OCD because I don't have any mental issues at all, because, you know, I, 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 I yeah. Uh, this part really reminds me of Blackwater City. And for some reason, there are rising and lowering and rising rivers of melted lime jello. Seriously. Or, maybe it's DEATH WATER! Come on, Ratchet, don't fall in the DEATH WATER! This is the only platform that keeps you safe from the DEATH WATER! Or maybe Ratchet just doesn't like the fruity taste of lime jello. I don't know. Okay, this part's not really tricky at all. You just want to make sure that you use your swing shot when the river's at the lowest. Huh, does this sound like something else we've encountered in this game? I think by this point the developers were kind of running out of ideas to challenge you with. So they just put this crap here. This is so cheap. Three of these dudes all shooting you at you with these things. Okay, this... Okay, there's a huge pile of boxes over here that gives you a lot of money. I did not see this for the longest of times. I was always just looking around the levels, trying to find more money to buy the rhino. And then I was like, oh, where is it? Oh, hey, look, now there's orange jello. Mm, the fruity taste. Okay, same deal as with the lime jello. You just want to make sure when it's at its lowest, you avoid it, and then, you know, blah, 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 blah. Uh. Orange jello. I don't know, maybe it's orange Kool Aid. Oh, yeah. Well, either situation, Ratchet doesn't like things that happen to be fruity. So, okay. One thing that I must point out, when you uh, jump and attack these guys and they fall back, most often they will detonate these canisters of stuff. Oh, come on, Ratchet, make it, make it. No, 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 grab their legs. Ah! What the? No, 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 no. Okay. Poison is jello and it burns you. Jeez. What have they done to our beloved fruity snack? Stupid industrialization. Okay, um... Well, little... 
getting close to the time limit here. So next time on Let's Play Ratchet and Clank, we will be uh, going up there. And I, if I remember correctly, there's a way to use this devastator on this. All right, see you guys then.